Hi guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Star Wars Rogue Squadron with me, Oxbo. And this is actually one of my favorite missions in the entire game, the search for the Nona. Nona. Race against time to recover the crew and cargo of a down. Yeah, it doesn't say it. Um, I believe it's the Nona actually, but um, this one's just fun because you get to do a little, a little bit of a. Uh, well, first, first of all, we get the A-wing, probably my favorite ship. The A-wing is the fastest fighter period in the star, in Star Wars lore, just because it's ridiculously fun to pilot. That's all, um, and it is fast. Um, it's very, it's a lot weaker than the X-wing, but also the other reason I like this is we get introduced to Tie interceptors, which is the other fun part of using. Rogue Squadron, this is General Riken. A rebel ship called the Nona recently crashed somewhere in this vicinity. It was carrying a team of rebel soldiers and stolen Imperial equipment. You must find them before the Imperials do. But yeah, it is the Nona. But um, it's just fun because you get into a much more interesting dogfights between the A-Wing and the TIE Interceptors. Alright, so first thing we're going to do is... Ooh, I keep forgetting. Uh, it is handy to just run into these guys very early on. Oof, that is one thing about the A-Wings that I forgot. Uh, you do not have an R2 unit, so you need to make sure that you stay alive. <laughs> um, I will probably die a bunch of times in this episode, just because we are using an A-Wing. The other thing is that it is usually helpful to stay closer to the ground, just because you do go a little bit faster. And in this episode, time is completely of the essence, because... If the Imperials find the Nona first, you're gonna have to. Well, you're gonna be a little worse for the wear because they're gonna be able to start strafing it, and this is this is one that you need to make sure that it survives long enough to evacuate everything. But we found it, so. Okay, Let's keep the crew out of danger until our shuttle can pick them up. The other fun thing about this is this is also the first episode where we're going to start fighting... Where did that tie go? Oh, this is what I'm looking at. Um, this is the first episode where I'm actually going to fight land units. They were exactly what I was going to be talking about. Now this is the same as the temples on Barrakesh. You can fire at this. You can't destroy it, but it, do it does count as an enemy, so it's just going to up your accuracy by ridiculous amounts to just fire on this while it's landing. There's no other... There's nothing else to do right now while we're waiting. Right, take these out as soon as possible because these do a massive amount of damage on the Nona. They do fi they fire a lot faster than the I can't remember actually if they do fire faster than the ATST. Basically though, there's three of them compared to one ATST. And the ATST does take a little bit of firepower, so you're not gonna take it out on the first pass. As you can see. Double back around. Basically, what you're gonna be protecting right now is both the shuttle and the Nona. So now we got to deal with tie bombers. Yay! Because we completely were good at that last time. So they're gonna start coming around from this side. They come from. They go. What is that clockwise? Yes, counterclockwise. They go counterclockwise every time, except for I believe once. And at this point, we're gonna start seeing ATPTs, the lighter cousin of the ATST. Um, don't worry about these guys as much. Right now, your main concern is the bombers. Um, take out the bombers as quickly as possible, then just double back and take out the ATPTs as quickly as possible. Again, it's a lot of juggling. Um, it's a lot of circling and braking and accelerating and just being really quick about what you're doing. It's not as bad as I'm making it seem right now. You do have... You do have a bunch of health for both the shuttle and the Nona. It's just, again, I'm trying to get good scores on this, so... It's... I'm a, I'm a little... I'm a little more concerned about how well I'm doing. And I believe this is the time when they're going to come um, clockwise. One thing that you can do also is... Oh, no, they're going counterclockwise again. One thing that you can do as well is you can actually go intercept them before they even start going. Sometimes it's just easier to do that because 
already taken out the ATPTs. See, now we're going to have to deal with TIE Interceptors. Uh, we're pretty much good as far as TIE Bombers go. Well, obviously, we took a while. Come on, go in front of me. There we go. The problem with TIE Interceptors, but also the, the Blessing, is that they're a little bit faster than you, but they are completely unshielded. They have almost no health, so basically two hits can take them down. What you're going to be dealing with right now is a bunch of TIE Interceptors coming after this guy. They're basically... TIE Interceptors are basically A-Wings with more firepower because they do have four um, blasters, lasers, I'm not sure what to call them. Four blasting nacelles instead of the two that you have with the A-Wing. So what you're going to be doing for this part of the mission is you're basically going to be hanging behind the shuttle. And if you lose sight of the shuttle, don't worry, because as you can see in our top right, we have a little radar. And that orange wedge will show you where your current objective is. Alright, I died. Um, I believe we get three lives per mission, though, so it's no big deal. Just again, keep on the shuttle. Make sure you take out as many TIE Interceptors as possible, because this is where you're going to get a bunch of your kills as well. Alright, and I, there you go, the shuttle's gone. We made that one. The shuttle is away. Rogue leader, get your squadron out of there. And we should have enough to be able to get a bronze or a silver this time, so that'll be nice too. We got a bronze. Not that big of a deal. Eh. Yeah, we... Oh, one more enemy destroyed and we would have gotten a silver. Um, I believe we could have... With a few more... With a few more kills, actually, we could have gotten, um gold too because the only big thing with this as far as requirements is time and kills because again you can just keep up your accuracy percentage by shooting on that little that little ship Imperial officer Chris this Mason this this is probably my favorite level in the entire game just because first of all this this level is absolutely ridiculous this is probably the one where the most failure is going to happen, but also it's just a fun level because we get to go in the speeder! This is Luke Skywalker, go ahead. I have repeat word an Imperial officer, Crix Dean, wants to defect. Apparently he has a lot of information on the Empire's military ground operation. I'm going to contact him after my meeting with the city officials in the Capitol Tower. All right. Keep your eyes open for any sign of trouble. Now, the cool thing about the speeder is it actually has two brakes, um, one on the left and the right, so you're going to use both Z for the, for the left and R for the right, so Z and R to completely break. Basically, you're going to be using Z and R to pull tight turns. Um, as you know from the fifth movie also, it's pretty, f it's pretty fun because we get to Take down AT-ATs. We get to use the tow cable in this one. I could have started out and could have gone a little faster than I already did, but I just wanted to show you the little thing with the with the braking first. And also with this, you're going to be able to do it on two passes. Don't worry about it. Now this is where this really comes in handy because you're going to be using the um, the single brakes for tight turns a lot. All right, now we took out the probe droids. Now we get a little surprise on our way back. Repeat, under attack. Get back here as soon as you can. Rogue group, we are under... Now the cool thing about you these cutscenes is you will actually go a little bit farther if you get to certain places. Um, but we didn't, so it's no big deal. You're not actually going to be following radar here. You're going to be going for about this area because you're going to see a couple of... There we go, TIE bombers coming right up on you. And it's just easier to start out with these guys than going to the Corellian Capitol building. Just because you don't have to worry about these guys later. Um, and basically this is just fly around and mop them up. Like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much just doing this because... Um, I showed my. I finally showed my girlfriend Star Wars because she's she's a Trekkie. I'm a Star Wars guy, and well, she just hasn't seen him. So I'm like, hey, you gotta see him. Come on, nerd dumb. So I showed him to her yesterday, and well, I showed her the first one, um, A New Hope, yeah, not the first one, first one. Um, although I don't 
think that one's as bad as everybody makes it out to be. It's, yeah, it's not the same, but it's not as bad. But anyway, we watched New Hope, and she wasn't that impressed. Like, it was okay, she said, but it just wasn't that great. It was better than what she expected. But fortunately, she's gonna give it. She's gonna give it enough to at least see the the fifth one. Um, the Empire Strikes Back, my personal favorite, Pro a lot of people's personal favorite. So fortunately, well, she'll she'll be seeing that, and she should she should like that. Now there are two things we've already mopped out all the we've already mopped up all the bombers, right? Have we? Oh no, there's one more bomber. Whoops. All right, not that big video. I didn't see him on my radar, so that's basically what I play with a lot of this, a lot of this time too. Can you hear me, Rogue Squadron? This is Crix Medine. The attack came before I could reply it, and I came down in the tech center. Can you get me out? Affirmative. Look, I've got my hands full. Can yeah. You so you that? saw I had actually started going towards where Crix Medine is. Um, Nadine, Crix Nadine. Um, if you actually get over that hill, you will be shot for a while. Now, before we go anywhere, we're actually going to be pulling a little secret right here. Do a full break. Oh, no, sorry, we can't get it yet. Unless I went between the wrong buildings. Uh, we do have to take out these bombers and a little surprise guest first. Now, these bombers are actually one of the hardest groups to mop up that I find. Just because they go in a counterclock, they go in a, a counterclockwise figure eight. So you want to change your targets a lot, just to make sure that you do do a little damage to those, the ones that are passing over your reticle at the time. It's just a lot easier than just following one group because you are going to be doing a lot of breaking. Because well, it's the snow, it's the speeder, so it's not. It's not as easy to control as, like, the X-Wing. Now, before we do this, actually, I believe what we're going to want to do... Yeah, I've got a problem here. Inbound fighter to 1013. Hold on, Wedge. Yeah! Ah! Come on, Chewie! Well, what are you doing here? How you doing, kid? Thought I might give you a hand. This is my hometown, after all. Exactly. So, Han is actually going to come and help us out now. Maintain visual scanning. Do we have to... We spotted an Imperial Walker on approach to the Capitol Tower. No, we don't have to go over here. Um, basically, what's going to happen is an ATAT -AT is going to pop up there in a little bit, but not yet. Now, this is where I believe we can go get that upgrade. Uh, if I don't kill myself. Yep, it's right down there. Um, I believe this is for... Sir, we found some advanced... 